Joanna, you wrote that if Goldilocks had only had the chance to try the cold and the hot porridge, she might not have known which one was just right. You, you say the, the 10 R is the missing piece here as yeah. you try to figure out. I mean, Whether imagine how different her life would have been. She wouldn't have found that just right phone. And I think R may stand for right. I think it may be the just right phone for many people out there, not only in terms of price tag, but also in terms of feature set. I mean, question is with these, these are the best phones you can get from Apple. But do you really need the best? Do you need to spend that much money? I mean, Tim Cook made a very good argument there about why we should spend a lot of money on our phones. They have become everything in our lives. But you know, the R is pretty, I think it's going to be pretty good. Ed, is the Max too big? Well, I happen to like big phones, so I would say no. Um, you know, again, to play off Tim, we're watching video here. We're doing so much here, you know, your eyes are fixed there. Now, whether that's good or bad is a whole other segment. Uh, but I personally like this big phone. You know, it's great for watching movies or, or watching music, music video, whatever you're doing. So I'm a fan of the big phone. Now, I just got to say, you both came loaded for bear here. You both have... We got examples we got of lots phones. of phones. Okay, yes. so here's my teeny tiny bling tastic 6S phone. So just to sort of like compare. Okay. This is the, the brand new with a 6.5 inch. Yeah. yeah. So it is. Max. It's 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 much bigger. It's it's big. The, it's the, it's very big. The question is, based on this design and this rollout, is this something that's going to, for example, replace my laptop or my iPad? Am I going to be able to do more on it? No, I mean, the answer, I think, is no. Um, I, you, you definitely get the bigger screen, as Ed was saying, for, for movies. You can see more of the websites. You can see more of your inbox. But fundamentally, you're not able to do more with this right now, especially compare it to the Note from, from Samsung. They let you put apps side by side. You can watch a video and take notes. You can do things at the same time. Apple doesn't have any of that built in right now. They're, they're definitely pushing you towards the iPad if that's what you want. Right, and the other thing that you have to remember, and, and you're right, the note does more. It has that pen, which we don't have here, for people who want to be productive or just take notes, can even use it now as a remote control. Uh, I still will go to an iPad for watching, you know, something that I'm going to spend a lot of time on. So it seems, John, like the real differentiator here for the, the 10S and the 10S Max are the OLED screen. Yep and then the dual cameras on the back. If you Definitely. don't care about OLED versus LCD, and if you just like nice photos as opposed to have to have the most amazing, yep. then maybe you should wait for the R. It, well, are I would those also two throw in battery life. Battery life? It, it's, uh, it might be a smaller thing for, for some people. They're not sort of like, oh, I need that extra hour, that extra half an hour. But I think what Apple's saying on their on their website, the claims are that the R will last longer on battery life. Well, yeah, so that's that's better for the for the cheaper phone. So yep. uh, which people should not wait for the R and, and definitely go for this in terms of the screen and the camera? Okay, number one, people with big hands. This is great for people with big hands, so okay. you're going to want that big one. I think if you are the person who wants the best of the best, you can get one of these phones. You're going to be very happy. These are fabulous phones. I'm going to get one of these phones. I need to have the best. I need to have the greatest. But I know a lot of people in my life who do not need to have the best and do not have, need to have the greatest iPhone. Maybe they need to have the best and greatest other things, but not the iPhone. Right. Okay. And you need that big budget, too. Let's yeah. not forget yes. that. Um, photography, they talked a lot about sort of computational photography, depth of field. Yep. Is that something, are we getting into niche areas here? I think for a lot of people it is, but look, it takes splendid pictures. Guess what? So did last year's <laughs> iPhone. Guess what? So does the Note. So do many phones in this class take great pictures. Yeah, I was really pleased with the camera. I'm sure you were as well. But you're going to be pleased with a lot of other cameras as well. Yep. For me, the biggest improvement I saw over my 10 camera was actually the speed of launching the camera, the speed of the autofocus. And that is coming from that computational photography. I mean, it's coming from the processor that they made a very big deal about last week. And I do really think that is a big deal. You might not totally feel it if you're coming from the, the 10, but it, it's but a we've big all deal. been there where the autofocus was just a, a half second yeah. late, yeah. right? And you got a fuzzy photo instead of a sharp one. Yep. Right?